Hello, I'm in the person of F.O.G. Mado, and I welcome you to today's lesson. In today's lesson, I'm going to practically demonstrate to you how to source for quality products on Alibaba.com. Without much ado, let's launch our preferred choice of browser. I launch my preferred choice of browser, which I always recommend Google Chrome. So you go to the URL toolbar, then you enter Alibaba.com. Before we dive into this training i would like to inform you that alibaba has done some changes on their website so if you are a fan of alibaba or you are a user of alibaba you see that there has been some uh, changes on their website the first and foremost changes that they have seen in they have done is you see products and manufacturers other than the previous times that uh, you have to search type in the name and you do this the selection so in order for us to search for or source for quality product on Alibaba.com, it will be prudent enough to also know how to successfully create an account on Alibaba.com. So without much ado, if it is your first time to create an account on Alibaba.com, you come to My Alibaba. As you move your cursor on My Alibaba, you will be presented with two options. The first option is sign in and the second option is join free signing basically mean you already have an account with alibaba.com and when you click on sign in you will be asked to enter your email address and your password if you have then you provide if you have never created an account on alibaba.com before then you have to select join free hence i will walk you through how to create a successful account on alibaba if you don't have one so you click on join free when you come to join free the interface will be presented to you in this form with chinese characters which probably we might not understand but if you have a strong internet connectivity you see chinese simplified then english so i select english so that the whole thing will be translated to english for me however if you don't get a pop-up from here and yet the characters are in Chinese characters, what you would have to do is to right click at an empty spot then among the list of options you see translate to English. Then you select translate to English. The whole interface will be translated to English for you. Then now this is the form. We have to fill this form so that we can be able to create a successful account on Alibaba.com. Country or region. If you live in Ghana, you select Ghana. If you live in Nigeria, you select it. Wherever you live. However, if you find your, you are a Ghanaian, yet you don't live in Ghana, you stay in, let's take that, the United States of America. What you have to do is to select Ghana because you want to be importing goods to probably your sister or your brother in Ghana to be receiving. So you select Ghana. Please select trade type, buyer, seller, or both. You select, you are just a buyer, so you are buying from Alibaba.com. Email, the email address should be an active email address that you have never used to create, you have never used it to create an account on Alibaba.com before. If you have the email, you, the email address you are providing or you will input, when you input it and it is an email address that you have ever used it to create an Alibaba.com, they will never permit you. So you enter a password, the password should be between 6 to 20 characters. You repeat the same password here. It should be a password that you you would remember. Company name. A company name does not necessarily mean you have to have a company, a registered company. No. So in from this part, the company name could be the name of your pet, your cell name, it could be your nickname, any name of your choice. You just input it here. English name, you input your first name here and your last name here. You input your phone number here, then you slide this. Then you come and click on agree and register so after clicking on our agree and register a verification link would be sent to the email address that you have uh, provided so you have to log into your email address and you see the link you click on it and you are good to go it means you are, if when you are done creating the account they will congratulate you for creating a successful account with alibaba.com in my case for instance i'm already having an account with alibaba.com so what i would have to do is just sign in so i come to my alibaba 
then I see sign in so I click on sign in so I come here I enter my email and my password I slide this the sliding is loading so I wait patiently you need to have a strong internet connectivity to enjoy the process very well let me wait for a while so I click on sign in so it has to log me in so log in successfully So this is the interface of Alibaba if you have created the account and logged in successfully. So this is a new video on how to source for quality products on Alibaba with their new interface or the changes they've done on their website. So you see product manufacturers. So instead of selecting products, let's take that you want to search for blenders or hair or yellow or anything of your choice. Don't select products, but rather manufacturers. So it means that you, you are searching for manufacturers you are going to source for manufacturers or reliable manufacturers that produces whatever you are looking for so in in my example on how to source for quality products on alibaba.com i will select manufacturers then from the search engine i type the name of whatever i'm looking for hair oil as an example then i come and click on search when you are sourcing for quality product on Alibaba, as I've demonstrated, you have to select manufacturers, as I've said earlier. Then it could be hair oil, it could be blenders, it could be children's dresses, children's shoes, anything. So you just type in there, but make sure you select manufacturers. So you are looking for manufacturers that manufacture or produces whatever you are looking for. Now, the next thing you have to do here is because they've done a whole lot of changes to their website, how do we ascertain the reliability and credibility of those suppliers or manufacturers we are looking for? But when you come here, you see verified manufacturers. So we scroll down, then I'm now looking for suppliers that are having trade assurance. When we talk of trade assurance, let me lay emphasis on trade assurance here. Trade assurance basically means you that you the importer you don't trust that when you pay the supplier the supplier will send you or the manufacturer will send you the goods or send the goods to your shipping company's agency and the supplier also doesn't trust that when he also send the goods to your shipping company for it to be shipped to you in your country you would also send the money so the trade assurance becomes a mediator or becomes like a third party or between both of you is a, a, a recognized body with alibaba so you pay the money to um the, the trade assurance the supplier is notified that this amount of money has been paid to 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 him by his with uh, trade assurance so now the supplier now will send the items to your shipping agency so when your shipping agency receives the items then they inform you then trade assurance will release the money to um the supplier so I want suppliers, manufacturers that are having the trade assurance certification. So I select this part. So whilst I select the trade assurance, Alibaba is saving them out of. Previously, you see that there, there will be a number that it will be shrinking. It, should, it will be dropping. But this time around, the whole interface has been changed. So I've selected supplier, uh, you see supplier type. I want suppliers with trade assurance. The next thing is uh, capabilities so i want suppliers or manufacturers that are having management certificates so i select this management certificates so alibaba will see them and will be giving you suppliers with management trade assurance as i've selected it i have management certificates then i want um, manufacturers that have environmentally compliant what it means is they, they they are factory where they or they, they they are company where they do the production where the production is 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 in order according to the 
um, international standard, Alibaba has gone there to ascertain as to whether they, their environment where they operate or produce the, uh, their product, it is of the international standard. So I select that one as well. Then the next thing I would like to, the fast delivery. I select the fast delivery. I want supp uh, suppliers or manufacturers that when I do payment to them today, within the next few hours or the next day, they will deliver it to my shipping agency. So these are things that sometimes one may ask that why don't I select any other thing like full customization? It is dependent on what you, you want. If, for instance, you want your product to be customized, it means that you are also looking for manufacturers that can do full customization. It is dependent on whatever you are importing or whatever you are sourcing for. So the next thing uh, I would also like to talk about is, you see, all countries and regions. So you see China, then Taiwan, China. So the manufacturers you are looking for, do you are you looking for them from China or Taiwan? You know, Taiwan and China, the 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 only uh, they are all within the same block. They are all within the same block, but they have about 100 meters or so 100 miles separation, which separates Taiwan from China. It, the separation is by the sea. The sea that separated them is about 100 miles or so. I'm not too sure, but it's about 100 miles or so 100 meters. So if you, you want the manufacturers from China, then you have to select uh, China. But if you want the manufacturers of whatever you are sourcing for solely from Taiwan, then you can select Taiwan. But in my case, for instance, I'm selecting China. So it keeps on saving them for me. And now what are you? Then the next thing is management certification. There is an organization that provides um, certification that is ISO. So if you want to know more about ISO, even the thermoport here in Ghana and even the airports, the hospitals, they have some certifications that uh, it is an international certification. So I want manufacturers that are having this certification. So I select the ISO. So manufacturers that are, are having all these um, certifications. So I select these things and I will tell you. So these are salient things that you have to select as far as the new interface of Alibaba is concerned. So in doing this, it means you are saving the uh, the chaff, the, the manufacturers that produces chaff or inferior goods or goods that are not of quality. But whilst you are doing these things, it, the ones that will, will be presented to you will be the suppliers that are, are having trade assurance, they are having management certifications, environmental compliance, fast delivery, they have the ISO certification. It means that any manufacturer or any company from China that you, per what you have selected or per what I have selected and I'm demonstrating to you, it means that they will not exchange their reputation with anything illicit to dent their reputation. So it means they will produce the quality things and at the end of the day, we'll see the reviews from those suppliers as well. So having selected the ISO, I think I'm done. I, a product certification, I don't, you can read more on those things but the important ones are the ones that i have uh, outlined and spoken about so then uh, next thing here is you see we have guanzu guanzu ziran cosmetic company limited it's a verified seven years it's having uh -huh, let me show you something here i think um environmental compliance fast delivery and so on and so forth good then uh, having management certification so you can see, verified. So Alibaba has verified them, has gone to their uh, companies or their warehouses, wherever they produce their things, verified them. For how long have they been on Alibaba? They've been on Alibaba for seven years, and they are having 210 plus staff, working members. Then all these things, so you can see, and they have the rating and reviews 5.0. So if you want to read the reviews, you can just click here and read the reviews. And these are the hair oil, the hair oil product with um, the MOQ being 1,000 pieces. 
So if you are buying 1,000 pieces and above, they will sell each for you at a cost of $1.8 between the rates. So they have the various products here and you can see them for yourself. The next thing also is we have Guangzhou. Uh, the names are too heavy so I can't pronounce them. The company limited. That one too, they've been on Alibaba for nine years and they have um, 90 plus staff. Then their rating on Alibaba is 4.3. So then a whole, a whole lot, a whole lot. Then you see um, Color Now Cosmetic Limited. They've been on Alibaba for 17 years. They have 150 plus staff. Their rating is 4.6. So you can see. Now, what is the difference between this company limited and this? Or sometimes you see that there will be, uh, let me throw emphasis on this. When you see Guangzhou, it means that is the province or the state or the city in which the company is located. Then having known that, then the next name, which is the Ziran Cosmetic Company, is the name, is the registered name for the company or the, uh, yes, the company. But if you don't see uh, the, the province first or the city first rather you've seen the name of the company starting first then they put into brackets maybe Guangzhou or Langfan or Yugo they put it into bracket it means that that company is based in China but it is not a Chinese owned company listen carefully to this part that doesn't mean that they produce inferior goods no no please so you see them so this is how you are setting for reliable and credible suppliers who produces quality products. So you can see um, Guangzhou, this is the name, uh, bio, whatever, uh, Biotechnology Company Limited, they've been on Alibaba for two years. Good. Let me use this as to draw more emphasis on this lesson. Sometimes some trainers say that don't buy goods from suppliers who have been on Alibaba less than three years or five years. This is a, a manufacturing company that ha has been on Alibaba for nearly two years and they have 60 plus suppliers. And just look at their uh, rating rate 5.0 as compared to other uh, that have been on Alibaba for 14 years. Look at it. And reference to they been on Alibaba just for two years. They have, they have been, uh, they having trade assurance certification. They have the ISO certification. They, 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 they have checked the things that have marked. So you can and even check their rating or review. So it's so awesome. So the most important thing is the things that have checked the trade assurance, um, environmentally compliance, um, fast delivery and so on and so forth. So you check all those things, then they present you a chunk of the suppliers with all those things, as many as they, they want. So it means all these suppliers that all manufacturers that you are seeing are credible and reliable manufacturers that you can buy from any of them. So the question is, which of them should you procure from? Which of these suppliers should you procure from? So folks, this is uh, how to ascertain for product quality. So in order to procure from them, I'm going to be talking about procurement, buying, how to buy. And as I have demonstrated in my previous lesson, the essentials of importation, you know, we have sourcing, procurement and shipping. So the first part is what I've demonstrated being it, the sourcing. So this is how you source for manufacturers that produces quality products if for instance what you are searching for you don't know the name of what you are searching for rather you have a picture of it on your laptop then you can use the camera button here then you click on it so when you click on it then a pop-up will come then you go and select where you have the picture of the product that you are looking for so let me see for instance then i open so what happens here is the whole system comes through through and brings out this is what i'm looking for the 8000 um, 3 liters double jar blender 
So it brings me similar products that, um, that, that, that with the various suppliers that produces all those things, then you look through and select the one that you, you want. So folks, here comes the end of how to source for quality products from uh, credible and reliable suppliers. See you in the next tutorial on how to procure on Alibaba. Thank you.